Hey, Shumi from Overdrive and in front of the screen today is Danny Webb of Mahindra Racing. Danny, you're completing your first year with Mahindra. What's the experience been like? Oh, it's been good, you know. I mean, trying to develop and trying to get the better of a bike was, uh, yeah, I think we all know it's not the, not the best bike out there. Uh, it's been good, it's been an experience, it's been tough work and um, yeah, looking forward to next year, you know. It's, uh, we've, we've improved on the bike and I think we've done a good job up, up against <laughs> the likes of Aprilia and KTM, you know, we're in front of KTM in the Constructors' Championship and I think that's a, a fantastic achievement within the first year because they've been there a long time and uh, yeah, Aprilia have had the best bikes for, for a long, long time and it was uh, for sure it would be difficult to beat Aprilia and Derby but uh, you know, I think we've done a good job and I think me and Marcel have uh, hopefully done Mahindra proud. I think you have, yeah. But uh, when you started out the year, were you expecting Mahindra to be this good, to be running third in the Constructors' Championship? Um, I mean, the beginning of the year, you know, we, we, we both struggled quite a bit. Um, and then started to get to grips with the bike and uh, and just started to get the better of everything, you know, and started to work really hard. And I think, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we've put in a lot of effort as well and so have the team. And, I think we've all done a fantastic job to get to get the bike where it is, and uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be sometimes so competitive in in some in some places like Saxon Ring, and um, you know I think it was uh, yeah I think we've had a, a good season. And you've had a fair number of crashes this season as well. Uh, what, what are you going to do uh, next year? I think it was just uh, sometimes overriding the bike, you know, just uh, maybe getting a bit too aggressive with it and uh, when it's not been working, I I didn't really want to slow up, I just wanted to carry on going and uh, due to them I had a few injuries, uh, one one was in Magello and that was down to my own fault and, and another was in uh, in America where it, was, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't down to me, it was down to an engine problem and uh, unfortunately I've still, uh, yeah, still kind of my wrist starts to ache a little bit still now, but I don't know why it wasn't broken or anything like that. Maybe the hospital said it was nerve and muscle damage, so maybe there's still some nerve damage there. But uh, you know, it's not, it's not nothing, nothing now. It's just uh, after the weekend it aches a bit, and that's it. Okay. Next year the bikes change completely, and you'll get 250cc four strokes. Uh, how is that going to change the way racing works, Mahindra racing works? You ride the bike. Uh, I think it, it's a lot better for us because it's uh, it's a fresh fresh class and uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the manufacturers okay like Honda and KTM they've had their bikes running quite long but uh, a lot of other people haven't really had their bikes running that long and I think we'll we'll be in, in for a much fairer fairer chance you know we've got the ignitions are being supplied by Dorna so there's not going to be too much difference within the power range or there shouldn't be. Uh, and the chassis, if we, if we can get a good chassis and uh, get the setup good, then there's no reason why we can't run up front. So do you think Mahindra Racing will be champions next year? Can't tell. I don't think nobody's going to be able to tell until next year starts. You know, For sure we'll be working hard in the winter with the bike and uh, and we'll be, we'll be working hard to get the chassis the best we can for, for the season and also the engine. Um, and then we just have to see how it goes from the beginning, you know, for sure we're going to be trying to push a lot more further up the field than what, what we are now. Um, and uh, But, you know, you never know. Honda have got a lot of experience with four stroke and, sure. uh, and so have KTM with them with their motocross success. So um, it's, it's going to be difficult, but for sure we, we'll give it our best shot. So normally they say that the person you compete with the hardest is your teammate. How is the relationship between you and Marcel? I see you walked in and you were joking and you were laughing and we could barely get this video done to start with. But what's the uh, relationship like? Oh, it's good, you know. I mean, of course, it's weird. Before, I've always wanted to beat my teammate, you know, but Marcel's a, a good rider and if he's faster than me, I'm really not bothered because I know every time I go out on the bike, I push to my maximum and... Uh, and I know that we we both we both don't mind each other looking at each other's data and, and helping each other, you know. So uh, yeah, and I think as a team that's a good thing what we've got, and uh, I think that could really come in handy for next year where we can develop the bike and and share each other's data and how we both feel on the bike. Um, so I think that's just a bonus, you know. And and we get along good as well. We get along really good. So um, yeah, it's. No, it's just uh, it's a good relationship, and and the teams we got a good relationship with the team, so it should all be good.
Have, have you played a prank on him yet during this during the season? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> what what have you done? I can't say it's a bit too rude. So yeah. <laughs> Marcel, you've played a prank with it on him as well? Mm, I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably, yeah, some, somewhere during the year. Okay. Uh, the, the final thing I want to ask you, this is your fourth year in the uh, 125ccs and uh, you're going to move to the 250cc four strokes next year. Uh, when do you think you'll be moving up to the next class? Uh, hopefully the year after next year. You know, I'd like to move up. Um, I suppose at the moment it's just just trying to get budget to do it. You know, to go Moto Two, you need a lot of budget behind you and some really good sponsors behind you. So uh, you never know. Hopefully, maybe if we have a good year next year, maybe Mahindra will want to go to to Moto Two. But you never know. Um, you know, if I can get enough budget for for twenty thirteen to go to Moto Two, that'll be a, a fantastic goal. And yeah, I, I would like to get on something different and a bit more powerful and. Uh, yeah, a bit more fun to ride, but for sure it's going to be tough work in a Moto Two class because it's a uh, it's a tough class. Everyone's on the same engine, and it's uh, everyone who's gone there hasn't had an easy time of it. That's for sure. Um, so, but you know, I, I, first I want to look forward to Valencia and and Mal this race in Malaysia, and then uh, hopefully uh, have a good season next year. Okay. Final question is for the Indian uh, young racers. India's motorcycle racing is not very developed, but there are obviously kids who'd like to be up here. What's the one piece of advice you'd give them? <laughs> uh, have fun, keep fit, um, and just keep on trying. You know, I mean, the main thing is you don't want to always... It's, it's a very serious game when you get here, and uh, some people... <laughs> Maybe take it a bit too serious sometimes, but uh, you've you've always got to keep fun in racing. You know the the reason why we started racing when we were young because it was good fun and uh, yeah, and you know it was also a bit of a social thing. But uh, now it's a bit more serious. But you've still got to have fun and and keep your feet on the ground and never get above yourself. You know, just always keep focused and uh, yeah, just keep fit, focused, and and also have fun as well. I think that's the that's the main thing. So you're having fun? Yeah, you know, you've always got to have fun, you've always got to, uh, yeah, relax now and again, you know, maybe after a race on a Sunday night, have a have a laugh, like, well, me and Marcel do, um, you know, we always have good fun on a Sunday night and laugh a lot, and, you know, to, and that's another good thing with us, where we can relax together, it's not like, uh, it's not like two teammates fighting against each other, we can relax together and have good fun, so, yeah, it's good. Sure. Thank you so much, Danny. Cheers. We have Marcel Schroeter with us, also with Mahindra Racing. Marcel, uh, second year for you in the 125s, first year with Mahindra Racing. How has the experience been? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's the first time for me in, until yeah, since three years to change the bike. Hmm. And um, <clears throat> yeah, in the beginning of the year it was very difficult, we were struggling a lot. Um, but now I think since the middle of the season um, we have a, a lot better feeling and the results are coming better, and uh, yes, um, I think uh, we made a good progress, and yeah, I think it was a difficult season so far, but I um, think um, was was okay. So you moved from being 125cc champion in Germany to the 125cc class. What was the difference in the bikes, the way the paddock works? Um, when I Came into a championship. I used my same my, my same bike um, I used in the German championship, so there was no difference um, in the bike. But um, you know the classes, um, yeah, completely different classes. The the levels, not only one step is like um, five steps more. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I yeah I was really st struggling last. It was very very hard for me. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah I won everything in the German Championship and I won the European Championship so now it was a good way to to come into the World Championship but um, even with this um, it was very very difficult for in the first year and yeah also the Honda is not the the, the newest bike mm -hmm. so um, it was not so not so easy to to um, yeah to stay with the top Aprilias but um, yeah I learned a lot um, and I learned uh, again, I think, more this year. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward also for next year. 
but the results are coming now. So you're yeah. confident where you are. You're happy where you are. How is your writing style different from Danny's writing style? Um, I think it's it's a lot different. Also, um, if we or when we change uh, when we see the, the data and um, yeah, there's a lot different because Danny is. Oh, in the beginning of the year, in the, of the year, then he was much more aggressive on the breaks, and I, yeah, my writing style was just a little bit different. But now I think um, it's maybe a bit, little bit similar, but also the bike settings is always uh, different a little bit. So who's the better rider? Are you the better rider, or he's the better rider? I think I'm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I think we are both uh, good riders. Um, we always um, like now, since the middle of the season, we are always close together. Sure. So I think we're trying to yeah to to push the bike to the limit, and um, yeah. So I think we are. It's not one rider who is was uh, much better. Though. I think we are very close. So what are the tracks in the year where your riding style works better than Danny's, and what are the track where his riding style suits the race tracks more? Or is there? It's, uh, no? it's difficult to say because every every um, circuit has its own character. Sure. And then. Um, even if there are some corners who, if, if I'm not like, but um, yeah, there's sure some corners I like, and so it's, um, it's difficult. So, to what's say. your favorite racetrack? Uh, there are some like uh, Sack Swing, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Also, Valencia is a nice track. Philip Island is not so bad. Valencia is uh, one of my favorite tracks, and okay. so there are not only one, there's some okay. tracks. Now, let's talk about next year. You're going to get a completely new machine. Uh, next year, what what do you think the machine is going to be like to ride? Uh, it's difficult to say now, but um, I hope to that the team can make um, a good work to get a <clears throat> good bike because next year going to be a good chance to to, to be on the top. Um, but I really can't say something about the bike because I haven't seen. No, no, no I'm not talking about the bike itself. What are your expectations? What do you think uh, it will be like to ride? Uh, how to, to ride? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just the biggest um, difference is the four stroke, mm -hmm. the engine with the engine brake. But I think, um, yeah, after a few times riding the bike, is yeah, you, you, you get used to, to the engine, to the chassis, and then <clears throat> it's like every, every, every bike. Okay.